We pay enough for gas these days without being ripped off. So when we learned that consumers may not be getting all the gas they're paying for, we looked into it. It has to do with gas expanding in hot temperatures, so that gallon of gas may not be a full gallon. Sam Louie explains. Yeah, go ahead with that local. Freddie Chulo is a trucker who spends most of his time on the road. He enjoys crisscrossing the country and getting paid for it. Been driving for eight years now, seeing new places. Like last summer, we got to me and my wife went to Niagara Falls, get to see beautiful America. But Freddie is also seeing something else interesting: inequities at the pump. Depending on where he fills up, he says there can be quite a difference in the amount of fuel coming out of the nozzle. In other states, like hotter states like Arizona and Nevada, where the temperature is really hot, the fuel expands more. So when it comes out of the pump, you're not getting all what you paid for. You're getting paid. You're getting. You're getting skimmed. It's known as hot gas. It's a simple issue. Uh, it, it's simple science. Any liquid expands as it gets hotter. So you're getting less energy per gallon when the gasoline goes in above 60 degrees. Judy Dugan is what the Consumer Watchdog Group, Foundation for Taxpayer and Consumer Rights. She's working to put an end to the hot gas problem. That means a loss to motorists of about $2.3 billion a year. In California alone, over the course of a year, the loss is $450 million. For someone like Freddie Chulo, a business owner with three trucks, the possible loss of fuel can be crippling. He estimates he spent a total of $45,000 last year in diesel fuel alone. You'll still be making, making money, but you still, at the end of the month, you really see the numbers and you wonder if it was worth it or not. The crucial point is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Gasoline sold above 60 degrees is considered hot gas. Currently, the practice is legal, but critics consider it questionable behavior, and retailers are compensated for selling it. At the other end of the chain, as it comes out of the refinery, as it goes into the underground tanks at the retailer, the volume of gasoline that's delivered is adjusted for temperature. If it's above 60 degrees, some more gasoline goes into the tank to make up for it. The only people who don't get a little more by volume when gasoline is hot are you and me, the consumers. Some gas stations have warning labels to educate the public about the impact of temperature on gasoline. But consumer watchdog groups believe more needs to be done, such as installing temperature-regulated gas nozzles. Well, other countries, for instance Canada, do regulate their uh, fuel by temperature. They have nozzles on the pump that measure the temperature of the fuel going into the tank and add more or less for temperatures above 60 degrees and below 60 degrees. And until that's done, Dugan feels all drivers are being taken. What it is is the equivalent of going into a grocery store and, and watching your grocer put the thumb on the scale for every purchase. It's not that much money per purchase, but it, it's unfair. It may be legal, but it's not fair. And with a grocery, you can say, I'm not going to shop there anymore. But with gasoline, you have no choice. 